Hey guys, so there was a problem with the other one. I don't know if you guys can get to this live. I'm gonna have to give you guys a minute or two to just jump onto this this uh, broadcast. Um, let me just tell the rest of you guys that's there that I'm that I'm here. Can you guys see the new link? Let me just tell everybody else. I see I've got one person there. Roger, I am on a different live chat on the channel. Hey guys, oh, there you guys are. Now we see, now I see you, now I see you, now I see you. Sorry, I, so apart from the fact that it took me about five years to really become a real good sailor. It's taking me more than that to figure out how to do a YouTube live. So frustrating. Um, any case, I'm just gonna give it like a minute or two for everybody to come over from the other live to come over here because I see a lot still on the other live. I can actually see it on my computer. I've got my iPad down here be below you guys. And so I'm just gonna give a 30 seconds or a minute for the people to come over. I've got some really interesting information for you guys and um, I will share that all with you. How are you? How was your day? How's this Monday been treating you? Um, I think we have a lot to be positive about and a lot to be grateful for, um, seeing that we know what's happening with Patrick. Hey man, hey JC, all good? Can you guys hear me fine? Everything's cool? I mean, I hope you say yes because I don't know what to do if you say you don't know or you can't hear me, so everything is cool. Um, we had 21 people waiting in the other room and I have 21 people here. Stefan Mills, thank you. Barbara, cool. So, I have some real time information for you guys and this is all about Patrick. Thanks, Jesse. So, first of all, let's celebrate Patrick. Um, who is Patrick? Patrick is a very enthusiastic older man with a passion for sailing and he has circumnavigated. Now, for everybody, anybody that has circumnavigated, you know what that means. Circumnavigating takes a lot of... Hmm, I can use a lot of words. Um, power, strength, balls, guts, um, skill. And he's done that. He, he used to do a lot of deliveries from New England. And from New England, he would do deliveries to to the Caribbean, and actually, about 17 years ago, he decided, you know, he's not gonna do anything anymore. He doesn't, not anything anymore, but he doesn't wanna sail anymore. He, he wants to just chill down a little bit. A lot of people would ask him, so Patrick, are you gonna do a circumnavigation again? And he would say, you know what, I don't think so. He, he kind of lost his um, ambition for it, and it takes a lot of chutzpah to do it. And he said, you know, maybe if he finds the right woman. So. He was working for a company in New England that would um, teach people how to sail on swans. So for you, those of you that know the sailboat swans, whether it's a 46 or a 56 or whatever, they would take their... Um, oh, somebody just sent us 45 US dollars. Thank you so much. Whoa, on PayPal. Thank you. This is not a pun for me, but thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I definitely need that. Um, the PayPal link is probably the one that you saw on my, on my description. Well, I'm kind of thinking about that. Thank you very much, whoever that was. Um, any case, so he would teach people how to sail on swans. And kind of one of the last trips Patrick was going to do was teaching this family how to sail. And on this trip, he met this lady called Rebecca. Now, this is about 17 years ago. And he had been dating somebody at this time. Um, and he loved her very much, but at the end of this trip, he really felt a connection with this woman called Rebecca, and she owned a boat called Brick House. It's a 41-foot boat, and, you know, he explains that. How could he not go for this woman with this beautiful boat, and she was kind of good-looking to him, and she knew how to sail. What a catch. Well, they've been together ever since, and this morning I spoke to Rebecca, and 
Guys, this is the power of social media. I did a short little live video last night and some of you signed up and some of you watched. And this morning I was flooded with emails. Literally woke up this morning and told the guys at the crew house, guys, look at this. People posting um, screenshots of, of donations on, on their GoFundMe page. And I had people at the Cape Town Yacht Club telling me what can they do, how can they help. My family and friends, thank you so much everybody in South Africa. Patrick is in a real, real bad state. He has COVID. So does Rebecca. He, today, I'm, and if I look down, please forgive me, but I really want to look down. Thank you, Kevin, for that message and see what I wrote down. Um, so he went on dialysis today. Um, he's on very seda heavy sedation. He does not speak. She cannot speak to him. And she's also not allowed to go to the hospital. He is not conscious. Um, thank you, Roger. $29,000 raised by now. Come on, guys. If you have an extra five bucks, an extra 20 bucks, and I'm going to tell you now why. Um, he's a veteran. And if he was in the United States, this would have been free for him. Guys, this is the problem. And I found this out today. And this is why I wanted to do this live update. They have insurance. And if you really want to know the insurance company, I'll tell you the insurance company. And to back that even further, I had Rebecca today send me all the details of their insurance company because I was in insurance, used to be a stockbroker, studied insurance, long-term, short-term insurance, was in the industry, and I was like, how can I help? Well, here's the story. Their insurance company did not have the clause of him might maybe being sick in a COVID type of situation when they bought the, the policy last year in June. Now, she wanted me to tell you guys that they had insurance and they are looking after themselves in a really uh, good way in terms of sailing. They're well equipped. They know what they need to do. He's done this before. He's not a fly by night. And so... In the, in the policy description of this company, it says they can change anything within 90 days of letting the people know. Well, they didn't let Rebecca know. And when they, she phoned them saying, hey, my husband's got the COVID virus. We're in South Africa. We need to go to the hospital. Can you guys please help? She phoned them for five days. Okay, so think about this. You're in a different country. Your husband's in hospital sick. You're on a boat. You don't speak the language. Um, you are in, in, a, in a marina where everybody's on lockdown and your husband needs to go to the hospital. Now he's in hospital. After five days speaking to the insurance company, she finally tracked him down and they told her, listen, sorry, there's a new clause that came out this week and I saw the email stating that they no more cover her husband. So, I mean, just <laughs> imagine this. Like you're sitting there, your husband's in hospital, it's a whirlwind, it's lockdown, and they, she doesn't really know what it's going to cost her. So she goes onto the internet and she looks and she says, sees that the accommodation alone, guys, is going to cost her $1,700 a day. This is all messages I received from her today on WhatsApp. So $1,700 a day. Thank you so much to the guys at the Cape Town Yacht Club. They extended a discount for her to be there. Um, thank you so guys from the guys on the boat Pluto that spoke contacted me that's been taking her food and make sure that the cat has stuff to eat but you know she's real real sad and I had to ask the question this morning I said Rebecca let's just look at the odds here what are they saying is he gonna come back to life and they said she said uh, kill dragger you said that you'd like to know the insurance company okay I'll tell you in a second um, you know, she said that she's real scared and people are looking after her nicely, but she's sick. So people can't come on the boat. They can't hug her. She's on a, she said she's never been alone in her life. And so Patrick can't speak to her. Um, I extended that my family and friends go see her. But I mean, what can I can't tell my mom to go and see her when she's sick. So the point I'm trying to make is that she doesn't really know what she's in for. And she started, well, her friend started this um, GoFundMe account. And guys, we hit a lot of money now. And um, thank you so much for that. But at $1,700 a day, we don't really know what's going to happen. Um, I asked her, what are you going to do if he dies? Because let's be honest. Currently, the odds are against him. 
he's an older individual, and we know with this virus what happens. And I'm not saying that prayer can't take him out, and I'm praying. I prayed a lot last night. Um, she said she doesn't really know. Um, so I want to really just make sure that everything is positive and we can make sure that she's fine and we can support her financially and that she's happy and smiling and that's really difficult for her right, for her right now. So I just wanted to say that if you can go to her YouTube channel and post some positive comments and just a hey and a like and we're thinking of you and all that type of stuff, that'll be great. Because um, I think the only thing that we can fight this thing with now is positivity and smiles and a little bit of support financially. So that is really what I wanted to do is tell you guys what's going on. Um, look, there isn't a lot of negative here because he is real sick and the insurance company is not coming to like, but we can make it a little bit more positive for her. So the insurance company, and I have permission from her to tell you guys, is Azimuth. And Azimuth has changed their, um, their details. So that's the deal right now. And I'm gonna stop talking and if you have any questions, because I have her on WhatsApp and I have a lot of information from her, you can ask me and I will try to answer that right now. But that's kind of the information I have at this point. So shoot them questions away. Guys, um, you can stay. I'll give you guys like to give her whatever she wants and what she needs. She said she has a lot of food. She, people have been looking after her. She's just looking for the strength to just pull herself together. So, but my wife saw them off. What's up, Gregly in group chat. I wish her well. Thank you so much for the well wishes for them. And she was so happy this morning when I said people were dialing in, sending me screenshots of support and love messages. And she's been saying, thank you so much. She knows she's stuck there on a boat, she can't really get off and she can't see anybody and she can't speak to her husband, but she's really feeling the love. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. I mean, I will give you guys feedback as, as, as I get it from her. And I have people there, she even said to her today, or to go to a cheap So that's it. Thank you, Roger, for all your efforts. Um, Roger has posted this video and last night's video on YouTube setting setting channels Facebook page and the GoFundMe is there it's climbed so so beautifully thank you so much but I worked out at a thousand seven hundred dollars a day just for accommodation luckily they're not in the States because I mean if they were in the States you would have insurance covered but imagine if they were in a, another first world country and it's so expensive plus the, the hospital that he's at right now is real real good so that's a positive. What other positives are there? <laughs> the fact that um, we're all getting together and standing together and looking after this guy is real, real fun and real nice. For me, it's fun because it's fun to see how people just come together and just say, hey, let's make this work. So thank you so much, guys. I'm going to keep posting updates. This is just a short one. And um, I don't really have any more information from you. The sailing community is absolutely amazing, and that's why I do this. It's a, it's a plus plus, a plus plus. Yes, Roger, you're right. So thank you for everybody for dialing in. If you have any more personal questions, send me an email. Send me an email at Captain Liu. That's Captain L E U L E E U at gmail.com, and I will shoot any emails over to her and she's happy to answer any questions and she wanted me to tell you guys thank you very much she feels the love she feels the support you guys are awesome yeah long-term assistance is going to be important because recovery is not rapid for anyone thanks for what you're doing it's a pleasure barbara i can just doing as little as i can um go to the gofundme page share it if you haven't shared it already let's show the world what sailors do for each other's and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Stay strong, stay safe. Another positive thing that I didn't say is this morning she said they put him in dialysis and they said to her that usually they wouldn't put an elderly person on it, but because his database or his base was so strong, they would put him back on, on dialysis. And so that's a positive. 
So guys, let's pray. Let's send good karma. Let's send good vibes. Let's send positive energy. Let's support that GoFundMe page. Let's come together as a sailing community because that's what we're all about. We help each other on the ocean. We help each other on land. I love you guys. Remember, you're awesome and you can overcome anything that you set your mind to. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Can we link with guys like Delos, SLA Vagabond? Probably you can. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. Let's pray. It's going to be fine.